Hey folks, I just wanted to do a little overview and my thoughts on the Benchmade 581. This is an upgraded version of the, oh I don't even know what the model number is, it's called the Barrage. It has the same um, shape and everything, ergonomics, but it is in Zytel. And I believe the blade is 154cm. The upgraded version has M390. Uh, this is a Warren Osborne design. Uh, it has aluminum bolsters and G10 kind of handles with some interesting contouring. The arrowhead clip, which is probably my favorite Benchmade clip. And it's assisted opening. So the access lock, I haven't taken this apart, but it appears to function just the same. Um, except there's a spring involved. Um, flicks out real nice. Uh, just the tiniest little bit of blade play. Blades just a tiny bit off center. Um, these are my favorite thumb studs right here. Big fan of that. It has a, you know, Benchmade's all about features. So it's got this thing here. There's a tab in there. You can see it. And when you engage this safety, it goes up against that. So theoretically, the lock cannot be disengaged. So it locks the knife into place and the knife is open. And it locks the knife closed so it cannot be engaged in your pocket. Um, that's a gimmick to me. I mean, what's the point, honestly? But whatever. It is what it is. And I've never accidentally... You need a pretty deliberate amount of force to engage that lock. Um, one interesting design feature, not feature, but design uh, element of this knife is that you don't have access to the pivot. Um, and with bench mates, a lot of people do like to tweak them because there's usually a balance between blade play and smoothness. However, since this is an assisted opening knife, who cares about smoothness as long as it opens? Um, I don't have any complaints. I kind of half expect my Benchmades to have the tiniest little bit of blade play, and I usually expect them to not be perfectly centered as well. Um, this is a user. This has been used quite a bit. I'm the second owner of this knife. Uh, the M390 holds up very well. I sharpened this on King Stones, and it took an edge just fine with um, kind of lower quality water stones, so it's not overly hard. Um, Let's talk about the ergonomics of the knife. Uh, it feels good in hand um, and all the grips and everything, but it's kind of slippery. And for a tactical knife, this is definitely a tactical knife. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. These these don't really give you any grip. The, the aluminum is very slippery and, and it has these milling lines in it that make it even more slippery. There's a lack of jimping in, in, anywhere on the knife. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think that that was definitely a miss on this, because this is, this is clearly a tactical knife. Uh, additionally, when you hold it, when I hold it, my thumb wants to go there. I feel awkward when I put my thumb there, and I feel awkward when I put my thumb there. Um, so, yeah, that's my thoughts on the ergonomics. Uh, blade shape, uh, I like it. It's a nice spear point, um, drop point. It's got a real nice wedge on it. And the blade is kind of a medium thickness at the tip. Still pretty strong. Um, a very functional um, stock thickness here. Let's see, compared to the Benchmade Gratillion. Looks to be about the same. I'm not looking up numbers or anything. If anybody actually wants to know the numbers, they can look them up themselves. But um, it is slightly larger than a large Gratillion. Let's put them... There we go. As you can see, it's just a little bit longer. Um, yeah. Heavily milled out on the inside. Which is nice because this is a pretty heavy knife to begin with. Completely closed back with some gearing on it. Aesthetically, I give this knife a thumbs up. Um, but, you know, fit and finish. Benchmade's always kind of, they just don't do good on, on, on fit. 
And look at this big gap here. You can see through it. And there's lots of gaps in between the bolsters, the G10. Most of their knives have blade play, like I was saying. You really have to tweak them yourself to get them correct. Um, I don't really understand why you don't have access to the pivot. Let's see what else. The uh, lack of jimping. I just can't really recommend this knife that much. Unless you like it aesthetically, which I do. Um, it functions just fine as an EDC. However, it's a little aggressive looking with the, the assisted opening and all the black. You can get these with the satin blades. Um, but yeah, I just don't think that I recommend this knife for the price tag. This is about a $200 knife, $180 to $200 knife. And I think you can do a lot better in that range. Um, especially if you're actually looking for a tactical knife, like if you're in the military or law enforcement. So, yeah, those are my thoughts on the Benchmade 581. Until next time, folks.